stage admit that they are quick to judge other people very harsh, harshly just based on first impressions. They took part in a Tyra Show social experiment where they were asked to weigh in on several couples they'd never laid eyes on before. And now remember everybody, there are men and women here now. Okay, check this out. For the second part of the experiment, the producers filled the judgment gallery with video portraits of different couples. And they asked a new group of women and men to come in and tell them what they thought. The first portrait was not particularly popular. I think that they're fake. I don't know, he just seems like a <laughs> He definitely looks like he's with her for her money. That's an example of a girl I'd never go out with, even for the money. He looks like the guy that would cheat. I agree. He's a jock, and all jocks are sluts, cheaters, and liars. This, this dude looks like he has an STD. And the group had plenty to say about the second portrait also. I think it's irritating. To me, this looks unnatural. I don't know. When I just see two women together, it makes me think, like, what could a guy possibly do that bad to make you want to be with another woman? It doesn't make sense to me. But George saw something he liked about it. This is really hot to me. I would definitely want to be in the middle because both these girls, they know what they're doing. I think there should be more. The couple in the third portrait got the critics talking less about sex and more about lifestyle. I think these two might be high school dropouts. They look like they live in a trailer park. They could live in a house. They might have, you know, sheets over the windows and stuff. So that's what our judgmental people had to say about the first three couples. And now we're going to check out what they had to say about the last two couples. Check this out. The next video portrait the men and women saw featured a couple that Vicente had a lot to say about. I've been waiting to talk about these guys. When I think of a dark-skinned person walking down the street, I just think of sneaky, conniving. He looks like a black roach to me. He's only using her as an accessory because she's light-skinned. He's all black and burnt and jobless. Not everyone saw them the same way. Come on, they're, they're actually cute. I would date them because he seemed like a mama's boy. But the critics all agreed about the couple in the fifth portrait. He definitely 100% looks like he sells drugs at clubs. It might be a little satanic. Their mommy and daddy didn't love them, yeah. so they were belly. These people, they should never have kids. I wouldn't date the girl, but I would definitely hook up with her because she probably does some crazy stuff that you've never seen or heard of. Yeah, he's too funny. George! You just are just turned on by this. A whole totally you know different what? thing about judgment with you. I gotta tell you, if you can't find lesbians attractive, you know, I don't know where you're okay. at. Okay. <laughs> Going to the, the couple in the end, the, the punk couple, um, you guys were pretty harsh about them. Who wants to talk about them? I, uh, just, I mean, I think they're trying a little bit too hard to be over the top, mm -hmm. to be scary or whatever they want to do. What do you think, Kay Kathleen? I just think that they're trying to rebel against everything. Mm -hmm. They don't want anything to do with society, and everything for them has to be extreme and different. And then v Vicente? Vicente. Vicente, okay. Um, basically about that couple. No, I want to ask you about the black couple. Oh, the black couple? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, Everybody's I mean, like, yeah. I was a little bit confused when you were saying that he's dark. Dark skin and looks like a roach? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is dark skin and he looks like a roach. Okay, and what color is your skin? I'm brown. <laughs> white woman? I don't get it. No, you're brown. <laughs> They're different shade brown. So, so you're, you're brown? Yeah, I'm brown He's skin. dark and a He's roach? He's dark skin. So you he reminds me of a roach. That's what I say. Like a roach that just you want to step on. Why? Um, I mean, I don't really, I don't really like dark skinned people. I think they're, I think they use people and they're very sneaky because I've been used and one of my, like, I have a friend that has a dark skinned friend, and I believe that they stole my iPod. Like, seriously. <laughs> I, it was an iPod touch, expensive. So, you mean, jobless, he couldn't buy his own, so he stole mine. I'm so confused about the skin color thing. When I look at your skin, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked that you don't think that you're dark. No, I'm not dark. Okay. 
Okay. But you know, people's eyes do see different colors. Like what is pink to me could be fuchsia to somebody else. Maybe it's a medical thing. Your mom is is, is uh, in the audience. Where's hi, mom? Stand on up. What do you have to say about this with your son um, and the things he says? I'm ashamed of some of the things he says. Um, why does? Uh, why do you? Th why do you think uh, he says this? Where, where, did, where did he get this notion that uh, certain people of different colors are are that are his color, kind of? Actually, well, yes. Well, um, uh, his grandmother, my mom, she had a dark skin complex, so I think that it stemmed from that. She used to say negative things about darker skin? Yes. yes. Did she say them to Vincente, Vicente? She said it to both of us. She said it to me growing up. She said it to him. What did know. she say? Um, I would have friends in the neighborhood come by and she'd say, uh, where'd you get these little pickaninny children from? And, um, you know, if I'd have a date come by who was dark skinned, she's like, oh my God, where'd you get that black? Um, that black guy, he's so dark, you know, so I have a okay. feeling that that's So when she's saying one. dark, she means like super dark, like Sudan, like maybe like a Lek Wek, like really, a beautiful, really gorgeous model. Like kind of like, um, she would uh, correlate it with like buckwheat, you know how um, buckwheat, they portrayed him as really dark with uh -huh. the uh, nappy hair. Okay, there's something our uh, panel of men and women did not know when they were judging the portraits in the gallery. Shall we let them know what they did now? Be high school dropouts. Like they live in a trailer park. Slash cheetahs. I just think he definitely looks like he's with us. Be high school dropouts. Ever date that guy? Uh oh. Kathleen, how you feeling now, girl? It's all right. I feel the way I feel for a reason. Okay, but you get turning real red. Yeah, yeah. just a little bit. And right. you're probably going to turn even more red because we're going to take a break. And when we come back, they're going to be on the stage with you. Yeah.